I want to start right here, folks. I want to let you guys know that I just appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I mean, seriously, I'm talking about real talk from the from the bottom of my heart, top of my head. I I appreciate you guys. Seriously, like just thank you. You know, as I rock this video with a mouthful of stitches going through some dental surgery. So, yeah, um, got to power through. Got to push through. Um, I also know to take breaks and I'm not going to let myself get run into the ground. Um, obviously, this is a big process. This will get me on camera a lot more. But let's go ahead and go to the video that we're here to talk about. South Carolina, folks. Yeah. So South Carolina, man, I tell you. So uh, we obviously talked about them winning the championship. You know, we talked about the brilliant mastermind that Don Staley is. Yeah, we talked about Tessa Johnson, and we shall continue to. And we talked about, you know, Camilla Cardoso and what she does, how big of a presence she was for South Carolina. And she entered the WNBA draft, so, you know, she's no longer in South Carolina. But this team, guys, this team is they – built, they built for the, for the duration, guys. You know, with talent, you know, like Maddie coming in and Joyce, Joyce Edwards, Maddie McDaniel. This team is built, guys. They are they are built for the duration. Raven Johnson will come back, um, and I feel like she's going to be even more improved than she was. And, you know, when her offensive game comes along, folks, be on the lookout. It could get real scary. She's an absolute beast of a defender. Bree Hall is one of my favorites. Um <laughs> Outside of Chloe Kitts, Bree Hall was the first one to catch my eye. Bree Hall's got a really good, nice three-point shot. She's a clutch shooter. She can defend for you. If she wants to play in the WNBA, that she can do. And then when you just look at Tessa Johnson, just scored 19 in the championship game, I'm going to tell you guys like this. There's a lot of gems on this team, but Tessa might be the best yet. And those are lofty expectations. But when you look at Joyce Edwards coming into this thing this season, talking about a superior all-around talent, talking about somebody that can put the ball in the bucket, that can do just about everything required, Joyce Edwards is absolutely the truth, folks. And so I just see South Carolina being a very scary team. Um, Ashton Watkins is in the building. Malaysia for Wiley is in the building. They know what it takes to win now. Makes them even scarier. Don Staley having the absolute time of her life coaching his team. They play defense. They're unselfish. Even when somebody gets hot, the ball continues to move. And just, guys, when I look at this team, I know teams around the um, association, double NCAA, they getting better. I mean, not double N, but you guys know what I meant. Talking too fast. NC, double A, when you look at teams getting better, like a UCLA, and you look at a uh, USC, when you look at UConn, adding Sarah Strong, you know, when you, again, when you look at U USC and they add in Kiki Irfan to the amazing Juju Watkins, and when you look at UCLA, they quietly building up something truly nice. Shout out to the Bruins. Um, Lauren Betts, Kiki Rice, Charlize Ledger Walker, Tamia Gardner. I already got London Jones, Gabriella Hawkins. Now you add in Janaya Barker. Yeah, UCLA is building, folks. But I still think South Carolina is the team to beat, guys. Raven Johnson, somebody I, I, I struggle to give a lot of credit to. As a Hawkeyes fan that I am, I will tell you guys that Raven Johnson played some great defense on Caitlin Clark. Raven Johnson played her butt off. She got revenge. She got it her way. And that was a sign during the championship game, you know, then that, that Caitlin, as great as she is, again, I state Caitlin, as great as she is, can be too careless with the basketball sometimes. And it, and it came back, you know, definitely to bite her. And you just seen South Carolina – they wanted that thing all season long. That's what they wanted was to get back to championships. Aspirations for them was championships. 
I don't think they're going to lose that drive to get more. Tessa Johnson, wow, is she incredible as a freshman player. Just a pure shooter. You leave her open, you give her a crack of daylight, it's going down. So, yeah, folks, when I look at South Carolina, shout out to all the South Carolina fans out there that show me love, Sess Talk Sports, and all of y'all. Truly, truly proud of y'all team. Truly, truly proud of y'all coach. Um, I just got to give it up, you know. Um, one day I hope that my Bruins and my Hawkeyes, they can, they can reach that promised land, but it's not easy. Don Staley, she shows every year it's not easy. She gets all these recruits. But what you don't understand is that she's tasked with putting them together, making them gel, and turning them into a winning product and doing this on a consistent basis. You know, I mean, anybody could have a bunch of top recruits. It's about making them gel. It's about getting them to sacrifice. It's about getting them to work together for one common goal. And Don Staley gets that done. So again, folks, I tip my cap, not once but twice, to the good old South Carolina gang Cox. And again, I'll say this again. If it was any team that we had to lose to, I'd rather it be South Carolina. And see, before I close, I got to go here. I understand it, folks. I get it. Iowa Hawkeyes fans, I understand it. We don't necessarily rock with Gamecocks and Tigers, LSU, South Carolina. We don't like it, but we beat South Carolina. So why are we still upset? You know, show love to South Carolina. You want love, show love. And we obviously getting love shown because a lot of South Carolina fans are huge fans of Asia Wilson because Asia Wilson attended that school. Kate Martin is receiving love from the Gamecocks fans. So look, that's the reason why we, Kaitlyn Clark and Fever fans, should be showing love to Leah Boston. Somebody's got to say it. Somebody got to put it out there. This part of the video in closing must become a short because this needs to be re recirculated. Gamecocks fans are showing mad love to Kate Martin, a former great Hawkeye. This is what we ought to be doing, Kaitlyn and Fever fans. Iowa fans are showing love to Leah Boston because that's what it's about, showing love, you know, for real. So, yeah, shout out to South Carolina, repeat favorite. Um, right now I got them penciled in as the repeat. Um, Don has proven to me that there is no retooling in South Carolina. I mean, there is no rebuilding. There's only retooling, and she does it on the fly. So I went against them last year. I didn't think they would get it done last year. I'm not making that mistake twice, for real. I mean, just look at South Carolina. Just look at them. And I didn't even really talk about Chloe Kitts. Damn, what about Chloe Kitts? You know, this team is just stacked. Stacked like pancakes at IHOP. And with that being said, guys, before I go, like the video, subscribe. But I'm out of here. Peace.